All right, gang, so I have been unable to use ATAC because I'm an iPhone user and I wasn't going to buy a burner just to run ATAC. And recently I found out about iTAC, which is the alternative to ATAC. It is the ISO version of ATAC. And with Argus Tech's servers, you can actually rent your own server for free with five slots and get up and running in about 30 minutes. I did with my wife, her and I kind of set it up to goof around around the uh, development to just kind of run a fake mission and stuff like that just to see how everything worked. And uh, I was I was impressed. We were, we were up and running, like I said, in 30 minutes. So if you're interested in that, this is the video for you. We're gonna do a more in-depth video later on once we have the entire team. Now I'm an Airsoft channel all this stuff is Milsim and Airsoft related. So if that is your kind of content, if you like that kind of stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much. If you're wondering about the phone holder on my chest rig, it is a One Tigris uh, carbon fiber one for about $25 on Amazon. Relatively cheap. It just kind of looked the best for what I was kind of doing. TAC stands for Team Awareness Kit. Uh, basically, on this device, and to break it down, I've had a bunch of people ask me in the Discord and some other places just about, like, well, what are you even talking about? What is this? But it basically gives you a way, like, say you're the squad leader, you can see where the rest of your team is, and your team can see where you are, and vice versa if you're just in a squad, anything like that. It gives you all the ability to communicate via text, video, all that kind of stuff in, I mean, your phone right here, right in front of my face. It's so nice that I can have a map and see in real time where everybody is. They can call out positions, friendly, hostile. If anyone needs assistance, you can track. Um, there, there's just so much you can do. I'm just scratching the surface with it, but I see that there is so much to it. Like we've got a drone operator in our squad and he's gonna have the ability to get the drone up high enough, survey everything, and then with ITAC relay back positions to the entire team and we'll just be able to systematically go through and assess what's going on on the, I don't want to say battlefield, I'm, I'm an airsoft player, so <laughs> take that with a grain of salt, but I'll be able to do that. Now, we are in a closed uh, server, basically. So Argus Tech gives you the ability to basically rent a server for your team to be on, so all of the devices kind of can communicate to each other. I guess everything is relayed back to the server and then bounces to the other um devices out on the field. You can use an iPhone or iPad with uh, touch capabilities. So they're called networks on the website. So you would basically rent a network from them. There are paid options. There's also the free option. You can have multiple networks. However, you can only have one free network. I got on there. I was like, oh, sweet. I can set up multiple free networks. You can't do that. So just keep that in mind. So the free plan is just a secure pipe plan. So basically it is the devices that you give access to, to that network. Um, it can't go to any outside organizations, anything like that. So it is isolated within its own uh, network. So realistically, you can only talk to your squad, whoever you deem. There are other plans if you are in an organization or with military or law enforcement. So like I said before, I'm just scratching the surface. I'm not an expert by any means. I might have had like 45 minutes of actual use of this uh, under my belt. So, so I have very limited knowledge. But if you're looking to set up an account, the first thing you're going to do is go to ArgusTac.com and make your own account. Now the account will give you the ability to either start a network or give your code to a network provider. So someone who actually has a network, your profile is given a code or email address, you can use either of those to then send to a network uh, admin. So myself being an admin, I would then take that code from an individual's profile. So like, we'll just say for instance, uh, my wife made a, an account, I took her code, I put that in and it basically paired her information to my uh, my network. And then I could, I could then choose what network I wanted her account to be associated with. Once you have your account all set up, you'll have to add a device to the account. So basically you're just gonna go in there and get a zip file from the website, take that zip file and put it into your iTAC or ATAC. I believe it's cross-platform, so you can communicate with ATAC through iTAC and vice versa if you're using the uh, Argus TAC network. So that's really cool. We haven't tried that out, but I, I did see a little bit of information in here that I need to dig through a little bit more. But Basically what you do is you pair those two. And then once that's done, once ITAC is paired to uh, Argus Tax website, you'll see a, a green light basically pop on your web portal right away. 
uh, when you do that and you're added to a network, so my squad network, whatever you want to call it, that person is going to show up. Uh, they're basically it's going to say that, hey, they're good to go. You turn the app on, you turn ITAC on, and instantly uh, that person is going to show up. So, like, I walk outside or I'm, I'm on whatever event I'm at, I turn this on, my teammates turn their phone on, turn on ITAC, and they're immediately, if they're in my network, they're going to show up right away, regardless of where they are. It's using uh, Apple Maps, so I can turn on Satellite Map. Uh, it's really, it's really convenient, really nice. So like I said before, I don't have a lot of experience with this. I've got maybe 45 minutes using this under my belt, and that's actually out in the field. So we are going to do a team video, basically, uh, and just kind of put this through its paces. We might get the drone up and just kind of do that. So if you're interested in that, stick around, sub to the channel. Uh, we will get that video out probably next month. We have it on the, the calendar. So I'm really excited to do, to do that, to kind of test how this will work and kind of apply it to like the field. So stick around for that. Thank you so much for checking out the video down in the comments section. Let me know what you think, uh, pros and cons. Also, if you have any questions, I will try to answer to the best of my abilities, but I am probably not the guy when it comes to that stuff. But hey, we will fumble our way through this and figure it out together. Thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you on the next one.